there, everybody, and welcome. My name is Rick Hutzel here with Ergon Web, your home for old school Ergon reviews and where we tell you the facts, not fluff. It is a gorgeous day today, a little breezy, but it's one of the nicest days we've had. We're gonna make the most of it. So this is my 25 cal um, Ultimate Sporter, regulated air arms, obviously. If you guys have ever owned a 25 cal, you've probably come across something of like, what do I have for pellet options? There's not nearly as many 25 cal options as there are 177 and 22. In fact, it's pretty limited. It's getting better with slugs and other things, but just pellet options, it's, it's maybe eight or 10. It's completely different than those other calibers. So I know that I mostly spend my time uh, with JSB because we're trying to get like accuracy and I've, I've found that those are the most accurate. accurate. Um, we also shoot the Air Arms pellets, which are very accurate. I think they're made by JSB specifically for Air Arms. So those like for just shooting paper, super accuracy have been, been the best. I mean, long term have been the best. But I wanted to try something a little different. I was thinking, well, if I go, what if I want to go hunting? When there are some JSB hunting pellets, but for me, the king of hunting pellets has always been H&N. And they sent me a bunch of 25 cal pellets. They sent me the, I'll put them in order here. They sent me a couple dome pellets, the field target trophies, and then the Barracudas. And then we have the Barracuda Hunters and the Barracuda Hunter Extremes. And I thought it would be kind of fun to, one, just kind of see how they do over a few shooting sessions to kind of get an idea of their consistency. And then also um, see if we can run some targets out here in the field today. Not trying to do anything too fancy because of the wind blowing but just see if I can hit some knockdown steel targets all the way out to 50 yards. But before we do that, I wanna say thank you to today's video sponsor, and that is Air Arms. Air Arms has been a support of Ergon Web and all that we do here for many, many years, and it has been wonderful, and I hope that we can continue that train just right on a rolling, because they're my favorite, this is my favorite air gun, and they're probably my favorite air gun manufacturer. This, they make heirloom quality guns, they are, there's only, you really sort of need to shoot them, to feel them and, and sort of meld with them. I don't know how else to describe it, but there's just a uniqueness to how they build air guns that is, I hope always just has that place in my heart. Um, and with the Woodstock, the laminate stuff that they do here, uh, this, is, this is for me, uh, if I just had to grab one and go, it probably is gonna be this gun. So I want to, um, first of all, I want to talk about the different pellets and what I found during my testing. Um, the field target trophies are fairly light. They're 20 grain and on high power, they were shooting 930s, uh, 930. And they were just, I would be more accurate to throw them at the target than try and shoot them. They were terrible. Uh, but then I started dialing down the pressure or dialing down the, the power with the transfer port adjuster. And all of a sudden you just saw the group shrink to something that was somewhat reasonable. At 50 yards, I don't know. Well, you guys are seeing the photo now. So that's what we got at 50 yards. In and out consistency, sometimes there'd be one that really flew. But for the most part, what you're seeing is pretty typical. But that was when we were shooting at about 750 feet per second. So in any windy conditions, they would really, really get pushed. Now we kind of go all the way to the top of the scale and we have the Barracudas. They're 30 and some change. So the 30.86 grain, almost 31 grain. And they did, um, they also like to be in that 750 feet per second. Now, I had to go to fourth power to get that. If I went to all the way to the top, they were near 800 feet per second-ish. And they were also kind of squirrely, but dialing back the power just a little bit, and they seemed to become more consistent. And again, you guys are seeing on the screen there sort of our, um, some of the best of what we got. Now, I'm going to skip the hunters because those were the best I got across multiple shooting sessions. I'm going to go right to the Barracuda Hunter Extremes. Um, the Barracuda Hunter Extremes are heavier than the Barracuda Hunters. They're 28.24 grain, and they deliver pretty consistent accuracy. If I were just raw hunting, um, you know, I just wanted something that gave me maximum expansion, just devastation on impact. The Barracuda Hunter Extremes have always served me well for that. Um, I've actually taken a pig. It wasn't a huge pig, but it was a, a pig on the run, tacked him right behind the ear, dropped him with a 25 cal pellet gun shooting these Barracuda Hunter Extremes. Very effective hunting pellet. And you can see on the screen the sort of results we were getting. But the most consistent pellet we had uh, from this batch 
has been the Barracuda Hunters, and they really impressed me. And we got some really, really good groups. The group you're seeing now was the absolute best group I got from multiple days of shooting. Um, but it would go anywhere from what you're seeing there to, I don't know, three quarters of an inch or so. I mean, it really, it really, really surprised me to see how well those Barracuda, Barracuda Hunters did. So what we're going to do now is I've got targets set up at 25 yards, about 35-ish yards. Um, and then I've got, that's probably 25, I don't know, it's, it's 30 to 35 yards, I don't know the difference. I don't know how far it is. Uh, and then at 50 yards. And they're the little swinger targets. And I thought what we would do is see if I could run those targets with the Barracuda Hunters. And so that's exactly what we're going to do today. Um, we do have a lot more wind right now than when I had set up for this a little bit earlier. Um, but we're going to do the best we can. One of the things I've always struggled with when shooting at different ranges is what is my hold over, what is my hold under? So if I'm going to be hunting, which is why we're talking about these particular pellets, um, I need to know I can hit the target. And I am far better at long range stuff or longer range stuff than I am stuff up close. You give me a close shot and I'm pretty much guaranteed to miss it like all the time. So. That first target being 25, the gun being sighted for 50, I'm like, okay, now what do I do? Well, I found that in my scope here, this is the Hawk, the new Hawk Frontier 34. Let me put my turrets in. Um, I've got a bunch of mil dot spacing in there, and there's a number right above the bull, or there's numbers, and it goes from like nothing to 4 to 8 to 12 to 16 to 20 or whatever it is. I found that if I hold under on the 4, and this actually worked for both the 25 and the next one, whatever, we'll, we'll say 38, right? We'll just pull the number out. Um, it works pretty good. So let me go ahead, and what I've got now is I've got a camera over there. It's gonna capture all three targets. Um, hopefully you guys can see them okay. So we're gonna go ahead and take a shot here. Um, if I, I might knock the target down. I tried to square them up so they wouldn't fall over. And we'll reset it. Okay. So that's 25 yards. Those paddles are about like that. So if I was hunting any small game or something, absolutely done. We're gonna go ahead and move out to the middle target. some wind. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, I forgot to mention, on the power settings, I guess I can talk while I load the mag. While the domed pellets, at least these H&N domed pellets, wanted to run lower power, the hunting pellets wanted to run high power, like right around 800, 815, 820-ish or so. Um, they seem to do better there. They did not do better. The lower the power you went, the worse the accuracy got. So, uh, and it, it was odd because one time, well, first of all, the Barracuda Hunters were consistently always best at just full on out. The Hunter Extremes seemed to go, one mag would like full out, one mag would like power level four. And it would be like 770-ish to 8, 808 or something like that. Uh, with the Barracuda Hunter Extremes, it sort of liked it depend, I guess, on you know how I loaded the mag. So I don't know, but the Barracuda Hunters set it to five and pretty much forget it. Now the challenge, because we did, I mean that group that we have for these pellets um, uh, was the most exceptional group I've shot uh, with the Barracuda Hunters maybe ever. So <laughs> it was really good. Uh, very fortunate to get that group. Um, but now we're going to stretch it out and I'm pretty much aiming dead center. 
and I went a little teeny bit high. I clipped him. We're going to hit him again. There it is. That target may not survive. Oh no, it might go down. Oh, last target. There it is. All of them kind of wanted to tweak on me, didn't they? But that kind of gives you an idea of, from a hunting perspective, um, that's pretty good. I mean, that is, other than the one sort of shank one, that was uh, 100%. I'll take it. So I'm super excited about having more options in the 25 cal um, hunting pellet scenario. The fact that it can be that accurate across multiple days of shooting. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with these pellets. Guys, that's gonna be it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's kind of just a fun get out in the backyard and go shooting video. Hopefully you learned something about 25 cal pellets and the other options that are out there. You know, don't give up on a pellet if it doesn't shoot well immediately. You may need to sort of dial in your gun to work with that pellet. I certainly found that to be the case with all of these. And knowing now knowing that, I know regardless if I had any of these, I could still go out and have a good time with them. My name is Rick Uster here with Airgun Web, your home for old school airgun reviews and where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.